Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm just starting to put the clay on. I'm starting with the uh, anatomy only because it's a good way to establish all your points for your muscles and things like that. And besides that, it never hurts to teach yourself every time the anatomy of the uh, horse. And each time I do this, I'm teaching myself something that I may not have known before. Anyway, it's the way I started. I give all this information in my instructional video on creating armatures and uh, creating a horse from scratch. And uh, in that video, Creating Horses from Scratch, I show how to make the armature for the horse there uh, as well. The first part of, of that uh, video on creating a horse from scratch deals with nothing but creating the skeletal structure and then uh, I move on to the muscles and finally to the uh, finishing of the horse that horse in that video is the one that I've got in a uh, clay that I've got right now called a warrior's farewell and I'll put a picture up here about of that one So, anyway, I'm just going to continue putting clay on. I'm not going to show everything uh, today, but I just wanted to give you an update as what I'm doing right now. And uh, I'm just blocking in the, uh, the hips on the horse. I'm also using two uh, reference uh, items. Uh, this maquette that I got uh, from... I, I can't even remember where I got it from. It's uh, the... Um, Western Art Rodeo or something like that, I'm not certain. You can do a search on Google for horse maquette and this may come up. I'm using also the uh, True Form Armature from Sculpture Depot and uh, because the, the structure of the hips are so hard to come up uh, to figure out uh, and to picture and also the muscles where, I mean the bones where they connect to the hips. I'm not putting clay on this armature because it's too big for what I'm doing, but it gives me good reference, uh, and this might be a good reference for you as well, uh, for when I sculpt the uh, horse. All right, I've got the uh, main body of the horse pretty well blocked in. Now I'm going to start working on the legs, uh, the uh, the. Uh, bone structure. I've got uh, the horse's head length is the length of the uh, hips from the top from the tip to there and it's a half a head length wide and so uh, and also a half head length down to where the uh, joint of that first joint of the leg is. Now this is off a little bit what I got on my armature but that's okay, I can adjust that uh, in clay. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, and I'm, I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you the size difference. This horse is gonna be about nine and a half to the chest from the back of his uh, rump to the front of his chest. This one is six and a half, about seven. So that gives you an idea of how much smaller this piece was than the one I'm working on now. All right, as you can see, I've been measuring out the bone structure, and I'm coming up short. That's where they, I got the uh, joint, and it's got to be up at least that far, so I'm going to have to... I can, I can adjust that right now, but it just shows you, even as careful as I am in taking the measurements, I can still be off quite a bit. And uh, so it's double checking all the time. And you can see I'm way off on this one. Boy, I don't know how the heck I did that. 
I guess I, I'm still an amateur. All right, I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I've got the uh, rear legs, legs all done. I didn't have to adjust the uh, length. What I was doing is subtracting for the flange bones here in uh, this area right here. I measured down to the bottom of the actual leg bone down to the first flange, set of flanges. This is like the toe of a human. This is the uh, four, uh, the uh, thigh, this is the uh, kneecap, this is the, uh, I, I call it the shin bone, I don't know what else to call it. This is like the heel of your foot, and these flanges here are like the flanges in your uh, feet, and this is like one flan uh, uh, toe bone here, and going down to your nail, your fingernail. And it's, it's, that's, everything is uniformly designed by a single creator, and uh, that's evidence of it right there. So I've got all that. I've got the, uh, the width of the hips all worked out, and the length of the hips, and the depth of the uh, rib cage, and the width of the rib cage all worked out. And uh, then I'll, next time I'll start working on the uh, leg bones of the front leg. And uh, I've made the uh, armature for the, uh, the uh, head of the horse so I can take it off and uh, work on it separately. All right, that's going to be it for today, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Um, good night from Wendy, Montana. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.